Hope everyone is doing fantastic and having some fun in their home labs in the last week of October here. In a previous video we talked about Rancher 2.5 and some of the new changes that they rolled out. Today we are going to do a quick overview of the new apps and marketplace section, adding in some Helm repositories, setting up the NFS client provisioner, and finally setting up the new Rancher backup to keep your Rancher cluster safe and backed up in case of a disaster or frankly stupidity, the former being the biggest case. Let's jump right in and take a look at the new apps and marketplace section in the Rancher Cluster Explorer. So if we go up to the top here, select apps and marketplace. As you can see it automatically comes with Rancher's own chart repository with all of Rancher's official charts for features and apps such as Rancher's Longhorn, Rancher Backup, Rancher CIS, Rancher Gatekeeper, Rancher Istio, Rancher Logging, and Rancher Monitoring. Then it also includes their partner chart repository, including some of these other partner ones like Datadog and Citrix. For today's project, we are going to need to add another Helm repository to Rancher. So off to the side, you can see I clicked on repositories over here. We can see that there's the two default ones we just talked about, and we're going to need to add another one in here. So up from the top, we're just going to go ahead and click Create. And we're just going to call this one Charts, Standard Charts as the description. And either here you can aim it at a Git repository, or a URL. In this case we're just going to install the standard chart repo from Google API. And we put that in there and we click create. You can see that it went from in progress to active which basically means it was pulling all of the information from the repository. We're going to go ahead and create just one more up at the top, hit create, create repository. This one I'm just going to call incubator because it's the incubator chart repository. And we'll go ahead and hit create. We can see that one went from in progress to active. Now if we click back over to the chart section we can see that it includes the charts and the incubator repositories that we added and if we scroll down if we hit refresh and then scroll down we can see that it's reading from those new repositories that we just added go up to the top you can see that you can include the filters here so that it's just one or the other you can come up and look at the different categories or you could just filter in the search box for today's project we're going to need to go add a new namespace because we are going to install the NFS client provisioner. So let's click back over to the cluster explorer. We'll go to namespaces and I'm going to click create. I'm just going to call this one NFS provisioner. Used for the NFS client provisioner. If you want you can stick it into a rancher project. I'm just going to stick it into the system project because it's used there and for this I'm not going to worry about any of the reservations. So we'll just go ahead and click create. Now that's created we can click back over and install the NFS client provisioner chart. So back from the top we'll click apps and marketplace and in here we're going to search for NFS 
client provisioner. And what this does is it allows me to use my local NFS server in my home lab to automatically create persistent volumes. I use this a lot in my home lab for data storage. Um, in the cloud, you guys might use something different such as EFS or even S3 or EVS back storage for persistent volume claims. But in my home lab, I like to use this. So in here, we're going to just let the chart go. And we're going to change the namespace over to that NFS provisioner one that we named. And we'll just call this NFS client provisioner. And you can see, you could read through the readme, basically what it really wants you to set is the NFS server value and the NFS paths value. And if we click into the values YAML, we can just edit it directly in here. I need to adjust the path to match my home lab. You would adjust it to match yours. And just click install. And in Rancher 2.5, it'll actually go ahead and pop open the Helm log for us. so that we can see exactly what's going on. We can see it went from pending install to deployed and we can see that we got a nice success from Helm which is awesome to see right here in the UI. So we will go ahead and close this window out and we know it's deployed out right now. If we want we can come over and see the recent operations and we can see exactly what Helm just did through YAML or we can click back and go view those logs again. Alright, so now that we've got that installed we can click back over to the Cluster Explorer and if you scroll down and go to Storage Classes you will see we now have a new storage class called NFS-Client that allows us to do persistent volumes. We're going to go over and install the Rancher backup. To set it up. So we'll go back here, we'll click back on just that, and we'll click on the Rancher backup, select it. The chart is Rancher Backup, there's the version. We're going to go install this one just into system because it's going to be backing up the system. You can read through the Rancher Backup and this is where you can tells you all about the configuration. Whether or not you're going to be using S3, you can also use Minio. Um, if you're not going to be using S3, then you would go down and do Persistent Enable Enabled and then you can look at the Persistent Storage Classes and the volume names for whatever you want to set up. The node selector, the tolerations, the affinity, anything else that you want to click on. And just like we did before, we can actually just go and click here in the chart options. And since this is a Rancher 2, it actually just gives you options that you can select. We're going to say use an existing storage class. We're going to pull it down and say NFS client. And we'll go ahead and give it 20 gigs and then we're going to click install. Again we should see Rancher 2 pop open the logs and let us know what's going on. And there it goes. and we get a success from Helm that it has now been installed. Great, so now we've got 
Rancher 2.51 installed using the new Rancher backup, which is using the NFS client provisioner chart to set up persistent volumes on my separate NFS server. But just in case anything happens or I do something stupid to Rancher, I will now be able to actually have backups of it. And if we click back over to the recent operations, we can see that there is now the Rancher backup installed in the cow resources. So that's installed, we can go up to the main menu up here and we will see that we have this new option from the menu that's called Rancher Backups. If we can go into here, we can see that there's a backup and a restore option. And we can set it up over here to create a backup. And we can tell it what kind of backup we want. We'll just call it backup. And we will call this recurring. And you have your option for one time or recurring backups. We'll say recurring. And we'll just say at midnight is good. Keep the last 10. Store the backups unencrypted. You can encrypt them if you want using the secret. And you can use the default or you can see use an S3 compatible object store. So you can do that depending on if you're doing a one time or reoccurring. We're setting this up so it just does it every night for me. And we'll hit create. And you can see it's now active. And that's great. So once it backed up, you would actually be able to restore it from here. So that's a quick overview of Rancher 2.5 and the new Rancher backups. Now if we wanted to do a restore we would just come over here to create and then you can see that you can do it from an existing backup config, the default storage target or some other place that you might have stored it. In this case an existing backup config if we pull this down it'll know about our current backup configs. We could set it there, add the file name and hit create and it would restore the cluster. Pretty basic, but at least you know now that your Rancher cluster is being backed up for all of your RBAC configs, your users, every other config that you set up, and just in case you do something dumb. All right, I hope everyone learned something new today, and we'll look forward to the next one. Have a great day, everyone, and see you later.